Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I am the GPR professor from LearnGPR.com. Just a quick tip for everybody. Um, when you, you know, contract out a project to do a survey somewhere, um, obviously I always say get all the information that you can. <clears throat> Another important piece of information is, what's the elevation of the project site? Um, and the reason is, I just did a project all the way, I don't know if you guys can see that, but all the way up this hill and around and on top of that mountain over there. Uh, but I didn't know it was going to be on top of the hill. When I got here, I had no clue. So I had to walk through all this in order to get there. And I started to get nervous because if the project was down here, you know, with all of this water saturation, right, and this is water, you know, all around in this bottom area, uh, would have really been a problem for the GPR, right? It would have been just more conductive the soil. It would have eaten the signal. If there was puddles right on the ground <clears throat> like that, then it would have been... Uh, problematic and so you know a good a good thing to ask your customers is what is the elevation of the project from here to there are totally different scenarios down here is a problem um, up there was fantastic very successful survey so I hope this is helpful I hope this is useful if it is share it around um, go to learngpr.com put your name and email address in and uh, we will send you uh, tips and videos and learning every single week and you'll get free access to our introductory uh, training videos and if uh, you liked it then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel I'm trying to build the community here as much as possible so thank you so much i wish you nothing but the best on all of your gpr surveys